You ask and you shall receive part 2 electric boogaloo. Today we're gonna be showing you my favorite, favorite mm, uh, primary weapon in the game, the Bratton Prime. It's not the best, of course. It's not even one of the better in Karnon modes, you know. It's one of the weaker in Karnon modes, but it's still my favorite weapon in the game primary wise so i'm gonna be showing you the damage first before we're doing anything else let's load up a grenier battle group and show you how much damage this gives off let's see here ba -ba 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 -bam, bam 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 these are level 225 enemies steel path of course look at that the damage is insane it has a bit of an aoe to it uh how look at how fast it yeah, look at how fast it just shreds enemies. So, let's try it also in another faction. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying that I only kill Grenier. I'm racist to Grenier. So now let's kill some Corpus. Bam, bam, bam. It, it's, still, it's still easy peasy lemon squeezy. Level 225 Corpus enemies. They just melt with the Braton Vandal. A Braton, not Braton Vandal, Braton Prime. And even without the Incarnon, look at the damage right there. It's insane. Okay. First off, let's show you the Incarnon Evolutions. Of course, this is an Incarnon build, as always, for Incarnon weapons. First off, the Evolution 1. We all know how it is. You gain radial heat damage. That's the basic gist of it. Of course, you also get a bit of an AoE to your rounds but other than that you get less fire rate but more damage that's the basic gist of it <clears throat> evolution 2 let's go to evolution 2 we have two options here the first option is increased damage with channel abilities active increases damage by 38 and ammo efficiency this might be good if you're running a frame that has channel the abilities but usually frames with channeled abilities are using other weapons and not your primary but if you want to run a Bratton Prime with that then this is a good evolution trait this one is more generalistic though and applies to a lot more frames this one increases your damage by two and multi-shot consumes ammo directly from capacity and increases damage by plus 54 percent also adds a 20 percent multi-shot so that's that's just more damage compared to this one i mean this one could be good uh but if you think about it which frames have channeled abilities that use primary weapons usually if you're channeling abilities you either have an exalted weapon or you're already ccing enemies like gloom and stuff that you don't even use the primary anymore and you just melee shit so of course, I'm going to be recommending the second evolution, Munitions Grit. For the third evolution, we have three options here. The first one is an increase in ammo capacity. You don't need this. You don't need this. This is an incarnate weapon. You're not going to have any problems whatsoever in ammo capacity, even in high levels of content, even in literal level 999, you're not going to have any ammo capacity problems. So this is irrelevant. Next up, we have increased accuracy and reduced recoil. This might be good. This might be good because the Incarnon mode of the Baraton Prime has very high recoil. So if you're having problems with that, you could probably pick this one. But if I'm being honest with you, this one just does more damage. Every time you punch, every time you, you a punch through hits, you have a 20% chance of 10% of your ammo getting restored. That's another problem of why this is just basic trash. Because if with this evolution, you're never going to have an ammo problem, you know? Because you're punching through every two shots or something. Even if you're punching through every 10 shots, you're still recovering 10% of ammo restored. You know? that It's, it's basic math. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to the third one the third one has three different options right here we're gonna be running of course the critical damage plus 18 percent and critical uh no the critical chance plus 18 percent and a increase in critical damage multiplier by 0.2 percent i 0.2 times um but 
if i'm being honest with you all of these are good there's no wrong answer to these ones other than maybe the status but even the status you could argue that it might be good because the normal braton already has a ton of status so increasing that might uh give you more damage but i'm using critical parallel i want more crits the second one increase your below increase your critical chance below 50 increases your crit damage multiplier i have no idea when this might be good uh it might be good if you have a frame that increases critical chance like harrow but other than that if you're looking for a generalist evolution critical parallel is the way to go okay let's go for the mods here this is such a basic setup everyone that's running a braton is probably running this i because i'm running a viral heat on my pistol here uh, i'm running a corrosive braton prime um it's usually for you know higher level enemies i armor strip them and then use this or use the secondary it depends on my mood but i just want different elements on different weapons to you know increase the availability of elements that i have first up we have prime shred for more fire rate and of course the punch through that we were talking about ammo restore uh for the evolution galvanized chamber for more multi-shot we've talked about this galvanized chamber is the best multi-shot mod in the game no questions asked galvanized scope every time you're scoped in more damage headshot critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds a critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds stacks up to five times it's just basic elementary boys if you are playing warframe and you like adsing this for primaries is basically a must-have high voltage for the electricity and status chance galvanized aptitude for the status chance on kill and more direct damage so you're getting more status chance and of course you're getting more damage from this mod alone and because we're running corrosive remember and we have high enough status here we have 93.6 status already <laughs> we're basically having so many corrosive rocks that if we are running green shards we're just armor stripping the enemy no problem vital sense for critical damage malignant force for the 60 toxin and 60 status chance uh if you connect both of them that's gonna be corrosive and of course thermal trans for the heat and status chance um uh, please note 100 percent important note here do not exchange the uh do not exchange the order of this high or high voltage should be the first one up here and then malignant force in here or anywhere 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 near here actually as long as the termite rounds is the last mod in the train in the column you're gonna be fine because if you put termite rounds up here it's gonna be a gas weapon if you put malignant force up here and termite rounds right here it's still gonna be a gas weapon if you change them then it's gonna be corrosive of course for the exilus mod Vigilante supplies, just pick Vigilante supplies. This is gonna cost 7 forma, might as well, right? Might as well. Because Vigilante supplies gives you more crit chance. It's still 5%, but 5% is gonna go a long way if you add it to the other crit chance mods here in this build. And the Arcane. The Arcane could be debated on. You could pick a Primary Merciless if you really don't want to headshot shit. But with Galvanized Scope, and with galvanized aptitude and with galvanized chamber and with, with the incarnate mode you're you're still gonna have to headshot shit so might as well take advantage of that headshots with the plus 120 percent damage that stacks up to three times that's gonna be 360 percent damage that's basically an illustration mod it also gives you minus minus 50 percent weapon recoil that's gonna help a lot for the incarnate mode and of course plus 30 percent headshot multiplier now let's go and show you one last time how much damage braton prime actually gives and let's end the video right there okay final notes 
the weapon itself is not that good if you if you're talking about meta weapons the Bratton prime doesn't even come close to the top 10 if i i'd argue it's not even close to the top 20 weapons if i'm being honest with you but there's just something special about it i mean look at it the sound design the engineering behind it and of course the nostalgia behind the weapon itself is just unmatched if you've been playing warframe for more than five years for more than 10 years then the braton has always been one of the staples staple assault assault weapons in the game so seeing how good it now is is just very very inspiring to have you can run braton prime and not feel like shit unlike before just look at it the damage is insane okay i think that's gonna be the end of the very very quick video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i rambled for 10 minutes straight i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace out boys peace out